Hi everyone, this is Casey, and the following video is about feline hyperthyroidism. Well, Kim, we uh, got Ember's blood. She was really, really good for the blood draw, but not so good for the toenail cut. So we always draw the blood first, okay, because we don't want stress to creep into our blood results. I'm glad you brought her in. We did find something on the blood, okay? okay. And as I suspected in the exam, remember that little thyroid goiter? Mm -hmm. She does have hyperthyroidism. Her T4 is above the reference range, and that confirms the diagnosis now. It's a very, very common thing in older cats. It's the most common hormonal disorder we see in cats as they get older. Okay. Now, the good news is with compliance, with good clients that take care of the cats like you, the outcome can be very, very good. It's very rewarding to treat, okay? She's lost a little bit of weight. Her hair coat looks kind of scuzzy right now, but with treatment, she's gonna look like a different cat, okay? okay? Um, we're going to start with pills first, okay, a drug called methimazole. That's the, the, the typical treatment we start with. But there are other options moving forward. I know she's a beast to pill. I know with your three other cats, you're pretty well a pro with that pill gun. Um, but we're going to start her on methimazole to see how she reacts to it, mm -hmm. to see if we can get her thyroid under control. But then we're going to discuss further treatment options moving forward. There is surgery, m removal of that goiter. It's a benign tumor in the neck. It's called an adenoma. That can be removed. Okay. Now, unfortunately, they most of the time they will grow back, um, but it is a treatment okay. Okay, that we can consider. There is another treatment called radioisotope therapy. Now, that is a cure. They use it in people. It's radioactive uptake of a dye that actually destroys the goiter, mm -hmm. but we have to make sure her kidneys are still working Okay, okay. all the way through the treatment. So we have to do a trial with the methimazole to make sure we don't unmask underlying kidney troubles, okay? Because I wouldn't want her going through that very expensive treatment and so on and so forth, and then finding out she has kidney failure after the fact, okay? okay? So I'm gonna need you back in three to four weeks, provided everything is going well. Um, Casey's gonna dispense the methimazole with you. She's gonna go over all the possible side effects. Sometimes some cats throw up and so on and so forth, lose their appetite. She'll go over those with you again and we'll lay everything out for you, but we need to see you back in three to four weeks, okay? Depending on your work schedule, we'll send you a reminder. Oh no, I'll definitely okay. be doing that. All right. Okay. Any other questions? No, just and just really right now, it's just kind of pills and she's in pretty good shape. She's in very good shape because okay. you're a compliant uh, pet owner. You come in on a regular basis. You knew something was up. Definitely. And we've caught it, I think, in, in the pretty early stages. Okay. Earlier is always better with yes. any disease. Okay. Okay? All right. Thanks, Thanks, Kim. <laughs>